Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create seamless Instagram carousels right on Figma. So this might look simple, but a couple of people were confused how to do it. So here's a video for that. And in this video, I'm going to show you two methods. The first one is going to be directly using frames. And the second one is going to be using slice tool. So let's get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is take a frame. And as you know, Instagram accepts a standard resolution or the aspect ratio of one is to one. And it's good to take a resolution of 1080 by 1080. So here we have the first frame. And the next thing we're going to do is add some color to it so I'll just use a solid color right here and next you got to decide how many frames or slides you want on your carousel so let's go for four in this demo so here we have four frames next I'll add a image to the first frame here and then maybe add some text which says just a random text I'm not going to focus on the design part on this video this is just to show you how we can create these seamless looking uh, carousel post that we see on Instagram so this looks good to me and here we have an image also. As you can see, this image is getting cut at this place here. The shoulder of the person is not seen. We want the shoulder to continue on the next frame. So the best thing to do is just select all your frames right here and remove the gap from here. So we'll just keep it at zero. And now there's no gap between these uh, frames right here. So the next thing I gotta do is just click on this image here and click on command D that is to duplicate it at the right exact position where it is. So now we have two copies of the same image. All you gotta do is one image, just drag it to the next frame and drop it. As you can see, this is filling the frame two just as a continuation of the first image. That is all what we want. So let me just show you with a couple of more images right here. So I'll take this arrow on this frame right here and I want this to continue on the frame three also. So simply command D for duplicating it. Here we have two copies of the same image. Just drag one to the next frame and that's it. That is done. Let's do it once again. So I'll place it on the fourth frame right here and just duplicate it. We have two copies and bring one to the frame three and that's it. So once I select all these frames and try to export it, you can choose whatever format you want. And let me just go for this folder right here. And now if I go to Finder, here you have all your frames exported. And once I bring it on to Figma, you can notice that it is a perfect full view of this whole slide here. And if I try to remove these frames, you can see that it's cut at exact point where it feels like a continuous flow of an image. So that is how you create it with frames. Now quickly moving on to the next method right here. So I'll just duplicate a frame from the top itself. And in this method, we won't be using multiple frames. We'll just use one frame. So in the demo, as I told you, we'll go for four slides here. So all you got to do is just remove this uh, aspect ratio lock here and multiply the width into, you know, four because we want four slides here. And that is going to extend this frame till this point here. And now what you got to do is use the slice tool, which is available along with the frame tool here, or you can use the shortcut S. And now just click and drag using shift to create a square of 180 by 180 you can also give the dimensions if you want to change it here and now what you got to do is just use the alt key and drag a copy of the slice to the right and then simply use command D for just duplicating it and that will just fall in place so right now you have four slices so unlike the previous method you need not create duplicate copies and paste it on multiple frames so that was a hectic process in this method you can just create your design as you wish so I'll just copy this asset right here and I can just paste it like this. I'll just bring this one here. Just creating something random here just to show you. So I'm not, you know, duplicating any image and creating anything of a mess here. It's a single image as you can see here. It's, these are just single images. And now what you got to do is just click on these slices. If you want, you can rename these slices if you want those file naming and just select those slices, go to export and choose whatever format you want. Click on export and I'll use the same folder right here. Going back to the finder, you have these new slices created. So once I bring it onto Figma, there you go. You have these seamless carousels right on Figma, which is how you can create it. So you can pick whichever method suits you. So I usually prefer the slice model, which is very easy to create. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching.